Oh, wearing a mask is one of the prevention measures to limit the spread of the COVID-19 virus. However, the use of masks alone is insufficient to provide the adequate level of protection and therefore other relevant measures should be adapted. Cabinet Secretary for Trade Betty Miner on Friday announced that locally manufactured face masks will retail at a maximum of 20 shillings. I'd like to encourage all Kenyans, I think we've been all uh, directed uh, to wear masks. And uh, there's, uh, there, there, there's, there, are, there are masks for medical personnel and there are general masks that we can uh, wear as we go out and uh, in order to prevent us from getting any of these infections uh, while we are uh, going around our, our, our businesses. CS Miner showcased the locally manufactured face mask, recommending a three-ply mask which includes a filter to avoid infection. Go out to buy ensure that you can detect that it has got uh, three plies. There's, there's, one, uh, there's one inner layer, an outer layer, the darker part is the outer layer for gathering dust, but there will be a filter uh, inside it. So that is something that medical personnel can wear, but also all of us, uh, all, all, all of us can, uh, can wear, I think, these three. But even as the government was demonstrating its wares, others were working day and night to rescue the situation by manufacturing their own mask brands at home, which, according to them, are meant to help the people living in slums and those in the streets. And I'll measure using the sanitary towel. This is Beatrice Gedenji, who runs a charity foundation where she donates sanitary towels to the less fortunate. But after the eruption of the COVID-19 virus, she resorted to making face masks from the same materials she uses to make towels. Mostly uh, people within the slim slums and uh, most of the poor places, you'll find people are staying at home, but they are not protected. You are finding that like, people are going through maybe stairs up to 10th floor. It's a very narrow stairs. We are meeting with people. And most of the Kenyans, they are sharing the bathrooms. They are sharing the toilets. They are sharing the water, pa the water point. So they are really appreciating. You know, they are, we are telling them, you are our ambassador, telling people to stay at home. According to Beatrice, the vulnerable people in the society have been left out in the wake of the pandemic, given that the standard masks are too expensive for them to afford. Most of the people the, here in Kenya, they are jobless. Uh, most of them, they are orphans, and most of them, they are people living in the street. So we came to realize that here at home, as the government directive, us to stay at home, we should also think of those people who are in the street and those people who are jobless, who cannot afford to buy even one mask uh, as the government uh, tell them to buy. The message on the mask written in red, stay at home, emphasizes more on the need to avoid social gatherings and observe social distancing and curb the spread of the virus. It is advisable to wear a face mask to prevent droplets of cough or sneeze falling off to surfaces, which might aid in spreading the virus once someone gets into contact with them. Jijina Magundu, K24 TV.